Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, over 14,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine procured under the COVAX facility arrived in the island today. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton and representatives of the Pan-American Health Organization, PAHO, were at the Norman Manley International Airport this afternoon for the arrival. Our reporter, Vashon Brown, was also there and now joins us live. Vashon? Thank you so much, Janella. Well, the plane with the 14,400 doses of the COVID-19 vaccines arrived at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston sometime after 4 p.m. today. Now, this comes exactly one week after Jamaica received 50,000 doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine as a gift from India. Now, the PAHO WHO representative to Jamaica says this is the first phase of delivery. Vaccines are expected to arrive successively during 2021. According to the first round of COVAX allocations, Jamaica is continued, expected to continue receiving doses through May until it reaches 124,800 doses, the amount specified by COVAX. Now, the Health Minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton, says it is important to note that Jamaica is the first Caribbean country to receive vaccines under the COVAX facility. And I know there's been a lot of talk about whether Jamaica is behind the line. Uh, why is it that we are so far behind? Well, if we want to put it in terms of first, here is a first that I think we all should be proud of and happy for. But more importantly, it does speak to the important challenges of vaccines, of vaccine availability to solving the global pandemic that we face. In the meantime, Dr. Tufton says the residents of infirmaries as well as the people who care for them will be added to the priority groups to receive the vaccines this week and others will also be on that list. During the course of this week, adding to those lists, parliamentarians who are 60 and over and so you will see sometime this week parliamentarians who are 60 and over the rationale again behind that is that we need our leaders at the level of the communities to provide leadership without the risk of exposure to the virus and uh, they represent by virtue of age also a vulnerable group. That will eventually graduate into the 60 and over um, among the general population. So during the course of this week, we will see more groups being added. So that brings us to another question that continues to be asked. When will the Prime Minister and the Health Minister take the vaccine? Dr. Tufton says they will take the vaccine sometime in April. I do appreciate the rationale behind us taking the vaccines early, and that is a demonstration effect as leaders. Um, and as I said earlier, there was an issue initially around whether or not parliamentarians, leaders should take the vaccine first in the context of a scarce commodity, numbers are small, or we should go for those who are more vulnerable, starting with our healthcare workers, or over 60s and others. And, you know, in some cases, it became almost controversial. And I would determine a distraction from what would be a more important issue of focusing attention around taking up the vaccines. So we still have vaccine hesitancy as a big issue. So the matter was discussed, and we decided that we would wait a bit 